how to turn Dollar Tree mats into a high-end lighting. The light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree mats to recreate a beautiful chandelier. This is a requested video and this was a picture that was sent to me and I absolutely love the way it looks. Now I would have used plates but in the request the person said she didn't want to use plates but she would like to use something else. So I thought about the Dollar Tree mats. This is a lid that I got from an empty can that I'm going to be using to make the shapes that I want for the chandelier. I was testing a certain spray paint at the top to see what it was going to look like before I continued with the project. That's why you see gold paint on top. After I'm done drawing all the shapes, I'm going to be cutting them out with a pair of scissors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. One pack of chopping mat that is sell at the Dollar Tree comes with two mats. So I ended up using five chopping mats, meaning three packs we use, but I used just five chopping mats. One side of the chopping mat is smoother than the other side, so I'm going to be working on the rough side of the chopping mat. This is because the design would hold better on the rougher side. Now I'm going to be covering the shapes that I have here with Mod Podge. I'm going to have glitter sprinkled all over them. They were dry after an hour and I'm going to shake off the excess glitter. And to make it even better, you can hold two together and rub them like this so that each of them are sanding each other down so that I'm just going to have just enough glitter that I need but you can still see the right amount of glitter on the transparency of the mat. Now I'm going to be making holes through the mats for hanging. You can see that on both sides that has the glitter and the sides without the glitter still has the glitter shining through on them. I'll be using dowels and covering them with gold reflective paper. And the link for this reflective paper is going to be down in the description box below. I also covered a much thicker dowel that I got from Home Depot a while back and this is the leftover with gold contact paper. That's going to be for the middle. I'm going to keep this aside and then show you guys the cup hooks that I'm going to use. I got these cup hooks from Home Depot. The cup hooks is going to make it easy for me to mount the chopping mats that I just worked on.
I'll be using a much thicker cup hook that's gonna be on the bigger dowel because this is gonna be suspended from the ceiling holding all the weight. I finally sprayed the lid all around with a gold spray paint. And now I'm gonna be making a hole in the middle where the dowel is gonna be. Before attaching the dowel in the middle, I'm gonna be attaching the smaller ones. Now I'm gonna be measuring where and how many I'm gonna be using on this lid. I'll be attaching the dolls to the lid with a hot glue gun and zip ties. So I'm just making holes with my drill gun and I'm making two holes per line. going to add much shorter dowels at the other open spaces much later. The top here is going to be spray painted gold. Now I'm going to be attaching the larger dowel in the middle and I held it down with zip ties and a hot glue gun. I covered the open part at the bottom with a poster board that has been covered with gold contact paper. I'm going to use something transparent to hold the lighting that I'll be using for this project. I made a hole in the middle of this acrylic box and I'll be attaching it to the larger dowel that's in the middle. I'll be attaching the remote control push lights that I got from Walmart to the acrylic box. I'll be using fish lines to suspend these on what I've just made. I made three sets of lengths of the fishing lines for this project. I added more dowels, like I said I was gonna do at the beginning of the video, to this. And I also adjusted the position of the cup hooks that was on the first set of dowels that I attached to what I made. Because I noticed that they were so far apart and that wasn't making the design look good, so I had to shift the cup hooks much closer to the lighting. The shorter chopping mats were mounted on the outside and the longer one is the one that's in the middle. I'll be using an empty masking tape roll. I'm gonna cover that up and then use it for the top of the chandelier. I'll be mounting this to a cup hook that I have already mounted to the ceiling. <laughs> 